weekly webcast. Hey Millers, it's Lydia and Blake and we're raffling off some free tickets for seniors for the winter dance. <laughs> okay, our first winner is Jose de la Rosa Cardenas, so look out for Nino. Okay, our second winner is Sadie Feldman. <laughs> Our third winner, Rosa Remba. Then our fourth winner is Joseph Woods Wiseman. All right, final winner, Let's see. Samir Stolpman. <laughs> so look out for an email. Ticket sales are going to be next Monday through Friday for $5 in the auditorium during all three lunches. And juniors and seniors can bring guests and fill out the form from Miss Turpening by Friday, February 2nd. We want to see everyone at the Arctic Wonderland Dance, February 3rd. Monday is monochrome day. That means wear one color. Tuesday is baggy day. Wear your baggiest clothes. Wednesday is extracurricular day. Represent your sport or club. Thursday is tropical day. Wear your most tropical clothes, but no swimsuits. Friday is class color day. Freshmen wear white, sophomores wear orange, juniors wear blue, and seniors wear black. Hey seniors, make sure to fill out that superlative form in your school inbox. Responses are due Friday, February 2nd. Hi seniors, the Wallen Scholarship application is due February 1st. As a reminder, that's a $4,000 a year scholarship that can help you pay for college. Um, you will need financial information, you'll need letters of recommendation, and you will need essays. So the clock's a ticking. February 1st is right around the corner. Get those things in order. If you need help, come see Hannah and I here in the CCC. We also want to remind all Washburn students that the Step Up application is still open. It closes on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Make sure you're checking your email so you can follow up on all of the tasks after you submit your application. Get it done. All right, Abby, so you're writing about why math is objectively the best subject. I'm gonna have you read your essay out loud to me. Um, I'll ask you some questions and then we'll talk about uh, revision plan for you. How does that sound? Incredible, okay, okay. I'll start reading. Manner, 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 oh. manner, manner, manner. Excuse me, just, yeah. just, sorry. I have an essay due like in three minutes and it's about how TOK students should not be arguing in the hallways. And okay. I have no clue where to start. What do I do? How do I write this essay? Where do I go? Well, three minutes is pretty quick turnaround, but you can always come to the Washburn Writing Center. This really? is, uh, yeah, Abby's working on an essay right now. Any day after school from three to four, like okay. right now, yeah. or on Wednesdays during lunch times. I know, do you do the sports ball, right? Yes, I'm okay. the varsity boys captain of the sports ball. So right, so with the You're lifting and the throw. Captain? We do the lifting, yeah, yeah. We'll get no, it's have a lot of autographs later. later, later, later. Um, so lunch times might work better for you since you have the lifting and the throwing after school. That sounds amazing. Yeah, and you can also just come in, read, work on a project, whatever you need. That sounds amazing. I can improve my writing skills with this. You can, and you will. Are you black? Are you looking for community? Come join Black Student Union. Union. At, on Thursdays at 3.15 to 4.15 in Miss Alley's room 013. Washburn BSU, empowering black students to embrace their blackness, create dialogue, and build community. If you're free from 3 o'clock to 3.30 every other Monday, join the Washburn speech team. Speech is right for you if you like writing, if you want to get better at speaking, or if you just don't have enough extracurriculars. If you're interested in speech, come to Room 207 on January 29th to get some more information. To plan for the Somali Culture Night in May. Practices are Tuesdays and Thursdays. And the Black Box Theater next week. And everyone is welcome to join. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm Angelina. And welcome back to this week's Magnificent, Magnificent Miller. Miller. Let's see who won this week. Okay. This week's winner is Ella Haller, nominated by Ocean for professionalism, determination, and excellence. Ella is determined to create quality and detailed work. Their glazing is second to none. Great Good job. job. Great Good job. job. Thoughtless Cruelty by Charles Lamb. There, Robert, you have killed that fly. And should you thousand ages try? Oh, oh my God. Uh, is it that the staff of the week sign? Yeah! <laughs> It's time for staff of the week! Staff of the week! Staff of the week! Hey, we're about to go surprise her. Miss Mulvaney, your staff of the week! Okay. 
What are you going to do with your parking spot? I, I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to use my parking spot, and I'll limp in every day from my parking spot. Uh, and then what was your favorite part about Poetry Out Loud? Just seeing my students on stage and seeing people actually watch poetry, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. Welcome back to Washburn Sport Report. I'm your host, Stuart Durand, and here are your upcoming Miller Games. Tonight, Boys Ice Hockey takes on Academy of Holy Angels at Richfield Ice Arena at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, Friday, January 26th, Alpine Skiing at Wild Mountain at 9.30 a.m. Nordic Ski at Bassett Creek Park at 1 p.m. Boys Basketball takes on YZ at YZ at 7 p.m. Girls Basketball takes on Fridley at Fridley at 6 p.m. Saturday, January 27th, Girls Gymnastics at Two Rivers at 7 a.m. Boys Wrestling at Orno at 9.30 a.m. Girls Ice Hockey takes on Chaska at Chaska Community Center at 12 p.m. Boys Ice Hockey takes on Breck at Parade Ice Garden at 12 p.m. Thank you for tuning in. See you next semester. Did you like the bloopers last quarter? Guess what? The bloopers this quarter are even better. Check them out in the description.